Hello! All to not realize how much I stand this absolute legend. Miss Vanessa Ann Hudgens, the girl who wears the crown, the queen, the absolute everything, goddess, majesty. She came to Toronto, she was filming a show or a movie. And I'm pretty sure I know what it is because they filmed up north. I know she landed, like she had come to Toronto and then a couple days later she went up to, I think it was like North Bay here in like Ontario. Because they were filming, I think it's like a Christmas thing. My friend and I, Matt, my little duty and Maddie, boo, 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 we were like, let's go to the airport and get her. So I was like, oh my God, down. We are the only stands who are in the premises. Vanessa starts walking out. I have never run so darn too damn fast in my life. The only time I'll ever run is if I'm in, if I'm in danger. I'll never just run because like I'm running, he 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 he. Like I enjoy running. No, but then I see Vanessa and she was like at the end of the the, the terminal. Matt's over there already, and I'm like, you're kidding. So I'm like like running 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 and then we finally get outside to the area where she's about to get into her car we stop her she sees that we're fans and she's super friendly this girl literally like you could tell she was kind of tired she was tired that's what i just said but as soon as she saw fans she loved it and she was with her mom who loved it even more if i could honestly say something i think vanessa hudgens's mother the queen i think we were interacting with her mom more than we were with vanessa like i loved vanessa hudgens's mom i think i hugged her probably like Solid 30 times within our interaction. Like that woman is a queen. Just as much as her daughter is a legend. So we see her. I'm like, oh my God, Vanessa. She's like, oh my God, hey love. She's like, how's it going? I gave that woman the biggest darn tune damn hug. Ever. And then I see her mom. I'm like, oh my God, queen. Her mom was wearing um, like a purple lip. I think it was like a purple lipstick. Vanessa Hudgens had it on. I remember prior to her departing because she had it in her story, but then I guess she took it off on the plane. So her mom was wearing the purple lipstick. She hugs me and then her mom kisses me on the cheek and she left like a little bit of a purple like stain on my cheek, which is fine because it was like funny, right? And then I'm like, oh my God, like I'm so happy that like I get to meet you. I was like, I met you before, but like it was kind of like rushed. Now I could actually say, hello. Then I go on to say like, I was like, oh, like where's that purple lipstick like, you were wearing like in the story? She's like, I took it off. She's like, it was just like crackling and she was like, it was just getting too dry. I just like took it off for the flight and I was like, and then and I feel like I wasn't being shady at all. Like I was just like doing, like making a joke out of it. I was like, oh, well, it's good that you took it off because her mom had put it on, right? Cause like she was wearing the lipstick too. Because I'm sorry, but your, your mom looks kind of better in it. But I was doing it as a joke. And then Vanessa Hodges, obviously she like, she was like, she also responded back like jokingly, but a little more sarcastic. She's like, I guess you're not a real fan then. And I was like, <laughs> no, like I'm, I am, it's just like, I'm sorry, but your mom looks better in that purple lipstick. Sorry, girly. So then I get out, like, I get, like, don't get out. Me and Matt are just, like, kind of, like, conversing. So we're like, how was Coachella? Because this was, like, maybe a couple days after Coachella. She's like, oh, my God, it was so good. And I was like, I don't have to tell you, but, like, you already know yourself. The whole damn internet knows. The entire darn to damn globe knows that you are the absolute queen of Coachella. Like, she was the one who, like, started the outfits. She was the one who, like, literally... Gave people a reason to dress up for Coachella. If it wasn't for Vanessa darn too damn uh, and Hudgens, people would be dressing up like the bums, like basics. And she was like, oh, did you like my outfits this year? I was like, you know, why are you asking me? Obviously, I loved your outfits. I was like, you actually look amazing no matter what year it is. Honestly, like, I think it's gone to the point where Vanessa Hudgens can dress so simple but still be the best dressed. <laughs> so then I turn to her mom and I look at her mom. I'm like, you know your daughter has the best outfits of Coachella. And she starts laughing. She's like, I know, I know she's so cute when she goes in and do it. She was like being such a classic mom. And I was like, literally like your daughter is an actual legend. The conversation doesn't end there. So now we get into talking about why she's in Toronto. I was like, oh, like, girly, you realize like where you're going to film, right? She's like, oh yeah, I think it's like up, like far from Toronto. I was like, oh girly, not only is it far, but it's really cold up there. Like you're literally going north. Girly, just so you know, you better be having a damn winter jacket up there because it, it's not it's not Miami. So then before she left, because like they were getting into the car, we kind of like let them go because like we got our picture, which I should post here. Here's the picture. I bring up Austin. I was like, when is your boyfriend coming to Toronto? Because time is ticking and I'm yet to still damn meet him. And she's like, oh, I know he hasn't been in Toronto for a while. Like, I wish he could have been on the trip with me, but like he's busy. And I was like, well... I'll continue to count down the darn tomb damn days till this man comes because Austin Butler, like, do you remember him on Zoe 101? Like, <laughs> king. Then I give them both a hug. Vanessa Hudgens, I'm like, queen, enjoy your stay at the North Darn Tomb Damn Pole with Santa Claus. And that's my darn tomb damn story of how I met Miss Vanessa and Hudgens. For anybody who's watching me, if anybody's ever darn tomb damn watching me, I'll talk to y'all in the next video. TTYLs.